Pew. So we're like blue, red, black, maybe. Some combination of those two. Preferably I get to play my flyers and my stratosca. Sorry, sorry. What's Seabard saying? 14 command center. Oh yeah. Starcraft. And I will post some more Starcraft 2 actually after I figure out my computer stuff. I'm kinda worried about doing stuff. Because it uh yeah. Pretty, like it just freezes. Like I hope this doesn't freeze. I'll probably file for a refund if it does, and you'll never see it because <laughs> there wouldn't be much point. Uh, okay, so there's a rusted relic turned to slag and shatter here. Those are the cards to look at. We don't really have a lot of metalcraft going on yet. So the rusted relic sort of has a reduced utility, and then there's turned to slag and shatter. And I don't know which one's better. Like, turn to like obviously kills creatures. Feels it does. Mm, Rusted Relic's pretty good too, though. Mm. I don't think Rusted Relic is good in my deck right now. And like blue black metalcraft isn't really. I guess there's some stuff. So shatter or turn to slag. I don't know what the right pick is here. And so I'll take the shatter. <laughs> Two dark steel sentinels. Uh, there's a Fume Spitter, a Fume Spitter, and a Lumen Grid Drake, and two Dark Steel Sentinels. Do I take the Lumen Grid Drake, or do I take the Fume Spitter? That's a, that's a tough one for me. I don't think I'm taking anything else. Like, Glintog Idol's alright, but not in this deck. So between these two... Uh, this always has flying, but this is technically removal. And I'm not sure how high to rate the Foom Spitter. I think I'll, I think I'll take it here and see what happens. Ooh, Dark Slick Drake? Ooh, and another Shatter. They do have reduced utility, because there's a whole bunch of decks that just won't play a whole bunch of artifacts, and so the Shatter is a thing. I think I'll take the Dark Slick Drake. It's, it blocks a lot of stuff. and It's cool. Ooh. Okay, so there's a Morok Replica and a Halt Order. Halt Order does have the same problem that um, Shatter does, and that it does not do stuff. What am I, where am I going for here? It does not do stuff. Oh wow! I should have thought I should have probably taken the the two two flyer over the fume spitter, probably. I'm sort of all over the place with my... Well, I guess you can sort of technically... I can definitely splash a shadow. I don't know about splashing a turn to slag. This is the Moriok replica. Or the Halt order. I think I'm going to take the replica. Uh, well, obviously, I'll take the flyer over this. So it's another fume spit. Is this uncommon? Okay. I don't know. I think I'll just take another flyer. Okay, there is a red mirror here, and some infect stuff, and another. These two actually would be okay. Like, the obviously, life staff is good on defense, good on a flyers. More replica is good because it draws card, but like the mirror is exactly what I need. It's a two drop, it accelerates me, it's red. Like, that's just perfect for my deck right now. Okay, so Throne of Geth table doesn't really do much in my deck. Trigon of Mending is terrible. Uh. Do I have anything to do with Throne of Geth? You have to sacrifice an artifact to proliferate? Eh, not really. So, both of these are pretty good in the Infect deck. I'm hating a card. I already have one to decide. Turn, whatever. Yeah, turn aside. So, and yeah, Tainted Strike is sort of just like a fuck you. Just like, oh, I swing. Okay, you're, you're at six poison counters? Okay, I swing with a 3-3. Three, three. What do you do? Do you, do you block? Oh, you have to block, right? Yeah. Ooh, plated sea strider, not screeching out. Screeching out's okay too, because like, there's a lot of one ones. But I think I'll take another fume spitter. Dudes in removal. Hmm. Oh wow, a whole bunch of stuff came back. So like, it could be the plated sea strider, but like, I think the artifactness and the bounceness of that sort of outweighs it. And hmm, once I get some more draft caps, I sort of have a feeling that this might be kind of a print run. 
Yeah, I'll hate another Tainted Strike. Uh, yeah, I'll hate to seize the initiative. I'll hate the score, you elemental. And I'll take the land. Oh, man, that might have been an uncommon. Hmm. The hell? Oh, yeah, whatever. All right, so if I open money here, it's all Slick Dragon. Damn it, Slick Dragon. All right, we'll count. We'll maybe say that the... Actually, I was already joined, so the next draft. Those will be yours. Oh, wow. A lot of infect stuff here. What is Livewire Lash too? That's a pretty good equipment, isn't it? Blue, black. There's another Moriak replica. It's, like, just slightly worse than... More expensive than, like, a Darksteel Axe, and it has, like, some sort of ability, so... Yeah, I think we'll take the live wire lash. Could have been a shatter there too. All right, what do we got here? Halt order, grasp the dexter skeletons. Yeah. Oh, grasp grasp of darkness, grasp of darkness. So I guess we are at least blue, black, splash red. As long as nothing goes crazy. Not sure about that necrogen scutter. This isn't really the time to be... Well, I guess, actually, it's not that bad to be experimenting right now, but... It's the highest EV. Uh, Molten Psych is terrible. Exsanguinate's not that good. Soaker Bottle is alright. I, I, Strider Harness is fine, but we already have two equipments, and they sort of are better. I could take another Replica? Or I could take another... I could take a Snap Still Glider... Or I could take the Stoker Bottle. Or I could take a Vector Ass. Probably not in this pack. But, like, people people just see Memnite and they're like, Shit, yeah! Memnite's awesome! It costs... Well, maybe not everybody, but, like, if you like Memnite, she's like, Yeah! Zero mana, one, one! Awesome with Metalcraft and stuff. They look at Vector Ass and they're like, Oh, that's terrible! You have to pay black to get it. Just like, it's a one mana, one, one artifact. Not that much worse than Memnite. You don't have to pay the black. You can if you want to. That's all. That's all. That's just my little rant on Vector Ass. It's a one mana, one, one artifact. It's fine. Uh, I think I'll take the Snapshot Glider. Oh, another Grind Clock. What is this? Miyamo Power Days Draft? Uh, I don't, oh, Painsmith is actually pretty good. It's a two drop. The other the Painsmith is a Flight Spell Bomb. And I've got some Flyers and Artifacts. So, like, Painsmith, I don't know. I don't know, I'll take the Painsmith. Golfing Slagworm. Oh, I don't want to play against that. I really don't want to play against the Engulfing Slagworm. I could take a Tumble Magnet, a Life Staff, a Bleak Cove Witches. Probably not the Bleak Cove Witches. Or hate the Engulfing Slagworm. Ugh. I don't want to play against it, but... Uh... <laughs> I'll take the Tumble Magnet. Uh... Yeah, it's between... I think... I don't like Bonds of Quicksilver. It's between Halt Order and a Quarter Shield. Yeah, I don't think the Halt Order. Might not play at main deck. Uh, oh, Trigon of Rage! Alright, like I said, I, I think people overrate Trigon of Rage. Actually, that's a, that's a late deck of Claw of Mirror, too. So, I'd pr like, yeah, Trigon of Rage, pretty good with Flyers. I might not be able to reload it. Ooh, wow, that's a late camp of Skyguard. I know people, like, White's good. <sighs> Question is, is it Instill Infection? Or Nurok Invisimancer? That's tough. That's tough for me. I think. I don't think I can play the turn to slag. Hmm. Still, infection's pretty good. But Invisible Mantra's unblockable. 
That could have been wrong. Uh, I don't know. Moriak replica or an quarter shield. Take the replica. I don't know how I'm going to build this with a flight spell bomb table. So does it disperse. Man, I don't know how I'm going to build this. Probably not playing the sensor. Because I'd rather play a flyer or removal over it. I'm not playing that. Stoke Puddle? I don't know if I'll play it, but it's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Alright, is okay against me, but like, Soul Parry is just a blowout sometimes. Psychic like Miasma. I'm not playing it. Alright, this, this deck looks alright. Looks a bit more focused than like my last draft. Possibly because I've only had two cups of coffee so far today. And no rum. Cause I don't want any. Uh yeah. I don't know about people who keep keep playing forty one cards here either. I like forty. Like, 41's not so bad. 42's not so bad either. I just, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, I, I agree, though, that there is, like, a tension. Because you don't want to cut artifacts. And your non-artifact spells are good. So just, like, 41? And there's cantrips and mirrors. And just, just nice, nice little... I already said it, can't remember the word. Oh, and I'm going to pause it here. Actually, no, let's start building the deck, Rolla Lutch. I hid the Shatter. It's probably going to stay hidden. Is Scudder good? Scudder's really good against it. In fact, it seems pretty good. The three life is sort of a lot. Do I play the... What, I need to cut one card? Two cards. Or go 41. Cut one card and run 41. What should I cut here? I don't want to cut any of my flyers. That the Or the high-end high, high -end flyers. I might... Painsmith? I could cut a Fume Spitter. I could cut a Painsmith. I could cut like a Morok Replica. A Nurok Replica. One, I could cut a Memnite. It's not really that great of a card. It's just a 1-1. One, one. It's just really good on your curve. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's not really a lot of artifacts. Maybe I'll cut the Snap Still Glider. I guess you only need two because it's an artifact itself. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. We were in a quick draft, obviously. Also, four for four for Stratocytes. Maybe I got the flight spell bomb. Hmm. Painsmith. I could probably make this a 40 card deck. Cut like the flight spell bomb and the painsmith. Call it a day. Painsmith is alright, but like most of. Oh, it's actually pretty good on. Better on flying creatures, actually, so it's hard, 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 hard. My only metalcraft card is Argent Sphinx and Snap Still Glider. So actually, I can cut artifacts from this deck. Hmm. 